Hi everybody, it's Jake Riley out here in Denver, Colorado. This week it's all about the comeback call. But before we get to that, let's review what we learned the first two weeks. Week one, I brought you guys three things. I brought you guys all about picking out the right call and getting familiar with it. I also taught you guys hand placement and the basic quack. Last week, I brought you guys the greeting call. The greeting call is a five to seven note cadence that starts up high and tapers all the way down to the last quack. This week, let's teach you guys the comeback call. So the comeback call, the best way to simplify that is a faster version of the greeting call. But instead of a five to seven note cadence, we're gonna step it up a notch and we're gonna go seven to 10 note cadence. The comeback call for you guys out there that don't know that is basically pleading these birds to come back. Please, please come back. And the reason why they're going away and you're having to plead these birds to come back to your spread is one of three things that I have found out. One, they don't like something about your spread. They saw a dog or something different in the decoys they're not familiar with. Or three, the most thing that happens is people moving around in the duck blind. So let's get started with this comeback call. So like I said, the comeback call is basically a faster, fast paced of the greeting call. But instead of five to seven notes, we're going to speed it up a little bit to seven to ten notes. So before I blow it in the back of the call, it's going to sound a little bit like this. It's three different verses. The first one is quack, 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 quack. And the same thing like the greeting call. You want to taper it down with everything. It's just a faster motion of the quacks. So in the back of the call, it's going to sound a little bit like this. It's so on the front of the call, sounds a little bit like this. And all you're doing is basically inviting these birds to come back and spread. And when these birds, I like to call it wingtips and tail feathers. That, no, that means you guys see these birds, they're out. And now you need to convince them to come back on. And when they come on that corner, okay, lighten up a little bit on it. Because now you guys already have their attention, okay? So don't be so hard on them. But when they're flying away and you want them to make that turn, that's when it comes into... <laughs> and as they make that turn and they look back into you guys, ease down a little bit more. And this is what it's going to sound like when they make that turn. So I'm gonna go in from when they're flying away from you guys and then making that turn. So here's flying away from you guys on the comeback call. <laughs> They've seen your decoys, now they're coming back around up. Ease off a little bit. Coming off that last comeback call. Like I said, the comeback call is just please, please, please come back to me and see what I have to offer for you guys. Everyone out there, keep sharing and liking my videos. I'm going to put one out every week. I hope you guys take the time to practice and learn everything I'm teaching you guys because this is something that I dearly love. You guys don't know how much this means to me to share this video and get it out there every week. Next week, we're going to teach you guys the feeding call. Love you guys.